everyone, it's Sim Guru Megs here and welcome to Sims TV, the place for news, updates and all things Sims on mobile. Now get your magnifying glasses and digging trails at the ready, it's time to prepare your Sims for a treasure hunt in our upcoming update of The Sims Mobile. Here with me today for this special walkthrough episode is game designer Steve. He's going to introduce our new visitor in Briny Heights, Samuel Small Fry Friday, who is a member of The Sims Explorers Guild. Welcome to Sims TV, Steve, and tell us about all how about this event is going to work. Thanks, Megs. Uh, yeah, so excited to be here to show um, everyone our new live event, which is the treasure hunt, as Meg said. So in our game, we'll kick it off. And yeah, this is Small Fry. Small Fry is our new uh, character who is essentially the face of this treasure hunt event. He represents the Sim Explorers Guild, and he's an aspiring young treasure hunter. And He's arrived in Briny Heights to uh, recruit the player's help to search for lost treasure and uh, win some great prizes. Um, so yeah, here he is. He He's always out and about around town um, doing things, so he does a lot of his communication with the player via his walkie-talkie, um, as you can see here. And, yeah, <laughs> he's so cute. Little, yeah, a little overview of how the event works here. So um, you can see that uh, we're going to be searching for clues by doing research. Uh, we're going to be using those clues to look for treasure to get some uh, relics and golden bunnies, and then we're gonna be using those to win some great prizes. Mm, the ancient relics and golden bunnies look awesome. How do I start hunting for clues? Cool, well, let's jump into it. So as soon as the event starts, you'll be greeted with a new event screen, uh, which is this really cool treasure map here. So this is sort of your home base for the treasure hunt where you can see all of the events available to you. And, um, uh, as well as how many of your tokens you've got, as well as uh, prizes and stuff like that. If we back out of this for a second, you can see that we've got this uh, new quest running here as well. Small Fry's Quest for Treasure. And um, by doing this, we can unlock more treasure hunt events, and we can also get a special prize at the end. Uh, mm. For this event is this cool field. Now, our first step is to just start the home clue hunt event. Um, if we have a look at the rewards here, you can see that this is going to give us a new type of reward called clues. And clues are what we're going to need to perform some of the other events in the treasure hunt. So I'm going to kick that one off. And we've got an incoming message from Small Fry as he introduces himself to the player. <laughs> Tap through slowly so we can read some of the dialogue. Nice. He's calling on his walkie talkie. We're in the home clue hunt event. This one just takes place in uh, the Sims house. And you can do a variety of uh, actions around the home. Uh, you know, in this one, we're just grabbing a snack, but you need to be fueled for all, all the research, I guess. <laughs> Check treasure hunting forums online, things like that. Um, we can also see that we've ticked off the first step of the quest here. So, nice. Um, some new reward types here. We can see that this is actually going to unlock some new treasure hunt events. So Ooh. hit collect on that. You can see we've got our clues and we've unlocked ah. two new treasure hunt events. See, this one uh, takes place at the courthouse and this one is a new dig site location at the waterfront, which we'll go and check out shortly. Yeah, you can see that a couple of these events are now lit up, ready for us to jump into them. So ah, so they've unlocked on the map. And yeah. do I have to do them in sequential order? Uh, no, you can do them in any order. So you can see our original sim is still busy doing his uh, research event. So right. I'm going to grab one of my other sims. Mm -hmm. How long so do those them. research events go for in duration? These ones go for four hours and then they have a four nice. hour cooldown. So you can Thanks. do them quite frequently. Um, so we'll grab one of our other sims and check out this other event. So this is an investigation event. So one of the new uh, sort of features of how the treasure hunt works is the clues that we already saw that we earned and the clues are used to start these other events. So we've got 10 clues in the bank and to start this investigation event we need to use two of our clues to trigger that. But we'll get some of these uh, nice ancient relics as a reward. Awesome. So we'll kick that off. And yeah, this event's really fun as well. It's sort of the idea that you need to get all the permissions and permits and things like that to be able to dig holes all around, all around town, essentially. <laughs> Just like real life. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Bit of red tape. Nice. Um, so that one, this one is six hours, so we'll leave her to do that. Mm -hmm. We'll grab another sim to check out this event down here, which is an expedition event. And these are sort of the most new and unique uh, events that happen in the treasure hunt. This one costs four clues to begin. Here we are. 
are. So we've sort of taken over this little spot in front of the, the wellness center and we've made a bit of a mess, but it's all, it's all for good reason. We're looking for some val valuable treasures that happen to be buried in this area. Awesome. And so we'll, uh, we'll talk about this special action in the middle momentarily, but before we look at that, we'll uh, just have a quick look at a couple of these actions. Um, mm -hmm. So your sim can sort of get stuck into it, you know, digging up and searching around the dig site, mm -hmm. taking notes, mm -hmm. um, cleaning up some of these some of these relics, getting the dust off them. Awesome. Uh, we can use the sifter, sift for artifacts. Like prospecting for gold. Yep. Hmm. Can uh, sort of investigate some of these deeper. Um, sites that have already been dug up, He's taking his notes. Nice. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, oh, this one's good too. Uh, prospecting for buried treasures. He's got his fancy little um, sound <laughs> effect He's got some sound effects. So cool. Uh, but yeah, this special one in the middle, the biggest dig site, uh, dig site out, of, out of all of them. Um, as you can see, it has this special icon on it of a walkie-talkie. So. Uh, when we tap on this, we can see this is Small Fry's dig site. It's a it's a special one that uh, we know has some really valuable treasure in it, but because it's such a big site, we don't know exactly where we need to dig. So right. each time we dig in this one, we use one of our walkie-talkies here. We can see we've got three of them available, and to start digging, we need to, need to use one of them. So let's have a look at that. So we kick it off, Small Fry. Uh, calls us on the walkie-talkie, and he's got a lead on some hidden treasure, and he's sending us the coordinates for it. I'm so hyped. <laughs> wow. And yeah, this is this is Small Fry's dig site. It's kind of a new little mini game we've added um, as part of this event, and it's basically we know Small Fry just sort of relayed us the coordinates of some treasure, which is mm -hmm. what we're seeing here. So there's three different spots that we could dig in, and if we look over here on the right, you can see that. Uh, there's a selection of different rewards available in this area. We've got some ancient relics, the golden bunnies, and fashion gems. Um, cool. So the relics and bunnies are obviously the treasure hunt ones. The golden bunnies are probably the rarer of the tokens, so you want to... They're more valuable, so that's probably the one we're aiming for this time. Um, we also have this uh, optional um, feature down here where we can spend some simoleons to scan and that will reveal one of the options so we know which one that is so uh, we'll, we may as well do that let's let's get some intel Ooh! all right we kicked that off so but if we want to know where the golden bunny is now yeah. that we know it's not the top left one it's either no, the it's bottom one that. or the right yep. so my money steve is going to be the bottom one let's the do bottom that one you think it's that one okay yeah i'm feeling good about it all right ready yep Oh. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, no. <laughs> gems, but that's okay. We know we know where the bunnies are now, so uh, we do have the option true. to dig again. We can do that for some sim cash. Okay. <laughs> and we know that's the bunnies. Nice. The bunnies. <laughs> cool, so this is the uh, waterfront dig site, but as we saw in the map up here, we have a couple more locations available, and uh, we should definitely have a look at those, I think. Um, so looking at this one, there's an expedition to Market Square, but we need to complete part three of Small Fry's quest for that one. So if we take this little shortcut over to the quest, you can see that we have to complete the research home clue, home clue hunt event twice. Um, Excellent. And there's some interesting rewards for this as well. We can see we've got the bunnies. We can see we've got the location unlock, um, but we've also got a new one here called a clue boost. So this one increases how many clues you get from the research event. Um, so that's the event you do at home, sort of, as you progress through the quest, you'll get these boosts that help you earn more clues as you go, so that you'll be able to do more events. So, yeah, here we are again. So we've got some of the similar features to the previous uh, dig site, but it's all set up in this, uh, in the middle of Market Square here. It looks fantastic. Now, as a player, if I don't have these places unlocked in my game, will I still be able to access them in this event? Yeah, that's right. You you don't need to have these districts unlocked to be able to do these uh, expedition events. You'll get a sneak peek at the location and your sim will get sent there to do the event, even if you don't have it unlocked. Mm -hmm. cool. um, and yeah, as we can see here, the small fries dig site is available in all of the dig sites. So um, you can do it in any of the locations and they all just use your walkie-talkies the same way. So we skipped ahead a little bit in the quest and we're ready to check out the last location. 
which are nice one. Yeah. How long does a treasure hunt event normally last? Uh, the, the quest runs for the whole duration of the treasure hunt event, um, which is going to be 11 days uh, when it when it goes goes out to players. Great. Um, and the final location is over here at Parkside. So this ah. one costs 10 clues, so it's a bit more than the other ones, but this one gives us some nice golden bunnies. So multiple sims can help with the treasure hunt at any given time? That's right, yeah. All of your sims can divide and conquer across all of the different events. Awesome. And will the Treasure Hunt Live event be running at the same time as this Sweet Treat Showdown, Steve? Uh, no, it won't. Um, sort of, I guess in this in this image, for obvious reasons, this is where the Sweet Treat Showdown kitchen would be set up. But there's a bit of a bit of a mess in that place, so no, they won't be running at the same time. Um, I, I think our plan for the Sweet Treat Showdown is going to be we're probably going to alternate it uh, most of the time with the Treasure Hunt, so that we've got some different events uh, for players to play. So Steve, you're a game designer that cr helped create this event. Now I need the scoop. What can we tell players to give them some tips to how to maximize getting all those clues? Yeah, good question. Um, so I think one of the biggest differences in the treasure hunt is the clue system that we, we already touched on. Um, so like we said, you need to do the home research event to earn your clues because they're needed for all of the other events around town where you get your prize tokens. So. It's going to be really important for players to make sure they're doing this research event as much as they can so that you earn as many clues as possible so that you can keep all of these events running. Um, you may run into situations where you don't have enough clues to do them all. Um, and in that situation, you probably want to take a look at the specific rewards and maybe the durations on each of these events and choose which ones you want to do strategically while you get to work to get more clues to do the other ones. So, going to be a little bit of choice there, but definitely focus on the research event and as many clues as you can. That will help a lot. Now, I'm working hard to earn all the ancient relics and the golden bunnies. What can I do with them all? Yeah, so I guess the prizes is what everyone wants to know about. Um, oh, yes. So let's have a look at that. So as we can see at the top here, this is the University of Brightchester treasure hunt. That's the prize theme of our first treasure hunt event. This widget over on the side here shows some of our grand prize content. So we've got a ping pong table, uh, some new hair. Uh, that's the one of the mascot outfits and makes a bit more sense when you go to the next one. That's the headpiece for the ma mascot outfit. These two tabs over here on the left, we're currently on the map tab and we can head down to the prize tab here. Ooh. This is our brand new prize structure for the treasure hunt. This is how you get all your prizes. So it's quite different to all of our old events. It's no mystery boxes or um, sort of the regular shop purchases like before. Um, the way this one works is, as you can see, we've got a selection of prizes available on this top row and they are direct purchase for tokens. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously this arrangement is quite different to anything previous than before. Um, the grand prize is down here at the bottom. So we can tap on that to see the info. And it's got those prizes that we just had a look at. Great. Uh, I love that there's icons for the gender, the gender for both yeah, male and female sims. Point. Yeah, yeah, we added that in. We, we knew a lot of players were requesting it, so you can see that clearly now. This one's mm. male and female. Awesome. Yeah. Um, but all these prizes above it are in different sort of lock states. So the first row is available, but um, these next ones down if I try to do that, I have to purchase the prizes above it first. Um, but you don't actually have to purchase the whole row. We can just purchase them directly for our relics. And that unlocks there. And if I purchase the one next to it, this one requires some of the golden bunnies as well. Uh, you can see now that the one below those two is now available. So to unlock a prize, you just need to unlock the two above it first. Ah, so if I see prizes in this premiere that I really, really love and I want to work my way directly towards those ones, I don't have to unlock everything above it to get to it. I can strategically that's um, right. yeah. get my way there. That, that's the goal. So you can sort of take a look further down into the into the prize structure and if there's a particular thing that takes your fancy, you can sort of make a beeline for that prize and leave some of the other ones for later. Now, what if I actually unlock everything in a row together? What happens? Yeah, good question. So. That uh, relates to how we deal with color options for these objects um, in the treasure hunt. It's quite different to our other events. So 
You can see this little tooltip uh, down here that mentions that if you own all the prizes on a row, you unlock all of the color options. So awesome. that's referring to one of these rows here. And if I don't unlock all of the options, uh, the whole row, then I would like to purchase the color variants at a later time, in maybe a, say weeks or months in the future. Will that just cost me normal simoleons to, or sim cash to do that? No, they're exclusive only to the treasure hunt. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining us on Sims TV, Steve. Are your Sims ready for a treasure hunt in our upcoming update of The Sims Mobile? Small Fry will be waiting for you when the treasure hunt update launches. Download The Sims Mobile on iOS and Android today and join the conversation on our Twitter page to show us all the prizes you've earned along the way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, Simmers.